Hey everybody, Christopher Odd here. Welcome to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodline. So I do want to apologize to anybody that was expecting an episode yesterday at uh, 4 p.m. Eastern, like usual. Uh, but I have uh, some good friends in town, and uh, I didn't have time to record an episode. So um, I apologize for that, but hopefully we don't have too many interruptions going forward. I should also say that uh, there's been a lot of really good advice. Uh, a lot of people have been talking about the Jezebel Lock a uh, girl, I assume it's a girl, who uh, we heard about from that hooker at the Skyline, was it Skyline Apartments? I believe so. Anyways, uh, the, the hooker that like died in front of us and she said she got the disease or something about Jezebel Locke. And that's at the Empire Hotel. So I'm going to go to the Empire Hotel here, which is, whoops. A considerable distance from where we're at but uh, it should be good to go actually and if we check our quest like there's not a whole lot we need to do I'm assuming this is gonna be related this plague thing more fun with pestilence and we'll also have to look for Alistair Grout the Malkavian primogen uh, looking for him at his mansion on the outskirts of town I have no clue where we're gonna find this guy, but hopefully we do. Am I going the right way? Maybe? I'm all disoriented here. Yeah, okay, we're on the right track. This is good. Just slap this on the way by. Dink! I don't know why she would make, like, a metal bum noise. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, so we have not visited here before. I thought maybe we had been inside, yes. but no. May I help you? Uh, I'm looking for somebody named Jezebel Locke. Yes. Miss Locke is one of our more, um, popular guests. <laughs> Why do you ask? I have an appointment. Oh. I need a key to her room. This is not going to go well. I can't do that. It's against hotel policy. Tell you what. Give me a key and later I'll give you some room service. I see. Well, <laughs> in that case, perhaps I can make an oh, exception. Man. Here's the key to her. You suite. are way have a nice evening. Too easy. Thank you. I appreciate that. We have a whole bunch of experience to spend, so maybe we should do this. Uh, somebody mentioned in a comment that Auspex increases your computer hacking, but Auspex isn't something that I have. I don't think that must be another type of character. So what do I want to do? I could go into... I could go into Dexterity. Which gives me Sneaking and Lockpicking. Or... I could go into Wits to get Defense and Hacking. Which is also good. Or I could go into Security. Which gives me bashing and eh. No, this just gives me lock picking. So I'm not sure. There's so many things. Or maybe I could go into melee a bit. That might actually be smart. And then I'm not too far off from a dexterity upgrade. Or do I want to max out my computer skills? So many good options. My dexterity... Uh... Let's go into melee for now. Let's just... We'll just do it. Also, let's check out this key. Is there anything special? Oh, it's just a regular... Okay.
Hello! Oh. What do we have here? Feeling it. Okay, over it. Look at that, I cleared the whole dance floor. Probably embarrassed them with my skills. Okay, this is clearly just a hangout. Hey, you party people. Enjoy yourselves. I am on a special mission. Come on. Nobody better see me. Anyone in here? Doesn't look like it. What do we got going on here? This is just like a storage room or What the hell is the purpose of me being back here? Oh, hold on. Is that what I think it could maybe be? <laughs> No, I don't think so. I thought maybe it was a safe or something. Weird. Maybe this guy can tell me what floor was she's on. Was there something else? Nope, we're good. Okay, bye. He doesn't tell us anything. Employees only. Uh, let's hold off on that for a second. Nobody is chatty here. All right, fine. I don't want to talk to you either. Oh, I would totally feed on you right now. Okay, employees only. I'm worried about the employees only scenario. Ooh, whoa. You are being a little bit flashy flashy. No one's in here. There's also nothing happening. Okay. Elevators it is. And that is just going to take us back to behind him. Based on everything else, not really a whole lot to look forward to. Okay, we're on first floor. Let's go oh, on ground floor. Do we only have... Okay, we have floors 5 and 6 that we can go to. Room number 4. Oh! Okay, well, that's convenient. Oh, yeah. Who do we have here? Are you a believer, little morsel? Oh, I'm such a believer. Have you come for the kind of enlightenment only Jezebel can give? You know it. I take up your the Jezebel lock. Yes, I am Jezebel. And I have such things to show you, little morsel. Such beautiful, dirty little things. Won't you come into my parlor? So... Yeah, what is going on around here exactly? Oh, you cannot escape me, little morsel. One way or another, you and I will intertwine our beings on the way into the Ninth Circle. And I will send you forth, full of the sweet sickness Okay, so I she's carry. like fully aware of what's going on. So you're with the Brotherhood? Hmm... Yes, I follow the path of the Ninth Circle. Come and join the Enlightened, indulging your animal instincts until both kind and kindred lie spent upon the altar. Desire will be our truth. Desire in the death that follows. 
I don't know if I like this, Jezebel. You kind of make me a little uncomfortable. What is it that you're hoping to accomplish exactly? I cannot control my hunger any oh, longer. God. Come, the truth will be shown to you as I drink the blood from your twice lifeless body. Oh, it will be ecstasy. Oh, ecstasy, little morsel. Sweet ecstasy. Get ready to see Brother Canker in hell. Whoa. What the hell? Hey. Oh, we're actually, like, throwing down here. That's not good. Okay, you are kicking my ass. Give me a second. Not good. She's actually pretty powerful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nailed it. Goodbye. Killed another plague bearer. What is this you've dropped? It's just a weapon. Okay. Perhaps another clue? Brotherhood Flyer. Okay, so if we can track down this Brotherhood who are spreading this disease knowingly, that'll be a good scene. Okay, let's check this out. The writing of the flyer reads, I am enlightened. That's not helpful. You should go talk to Damsel. Okay. Hopefully she's not just like, yeah, there's like a few of them. Maybe you should go keep looking. Like, I want answers now. Okay, this is where the plague bearer poops. Weird. It wasn't smooth, but we got it done. I need to feed on somebody now, though. Let's check out the sixth floor. Or not. Okay, weird. There we go. A keypad. All locked. Another keypad. I wonder if maybe in the employee areas we could find something. They're not like... Okay, there we go. Thank you. Just let me out. Now, if I could find one of these wandering... Hmm, you'll do. Go this way. Nope, go that way, please. That way. Go! There we go. Oh, she's so dead. I'm not gonna kill her, but I'm really thirsty. Thank you. Okay, we do have a computer here. This could be interesting. And a note. If someone needs a spare key card, check the computer for the name of the suite first. Oh, password is wealth. Have a good night shift. Needs a spare key card, check the computer for the name of the suite first. Okay. Password is wealth.
I just don't want this guy to, like, come back here while I'm working. Okay. Sweets. Wealth. Okay. Available commands. Albany Suite. Let's check them all. Is available. Next reservation Sunday. All right. Good. Buffalo Suite. Guest is Boris Chekhov. Booked until indefinitely. All right. Ithaca Suite. Ashley Jones. Booked until tomorrow. Manhattan Suite. It's available. These are all New York related in case you didn't notice. Jezebel Locke is in the Brooklyn Suite. Booked until next month. And Queens Suite must be the top one. Ingvar Johansson booked until on notice. Hmm. Guest logs. Let's just see if we can get in here. That'll do. Okay, let's check out our little Chekhov here. PVP or PPV. Oh, pay per view. Planet La Femme. $10. Steak and Lobster, $80. Yeah, this seems about right. Johansson, I, none, no transactions. Jones A. Jones A. Bottle of Champ de Chotre, $290. Lock J, none. Come on, are you serious? So we have sweets or guest log. Can I, like... Oh. Oh, okay. So that would be another way to get it. But I already have it, so I don't need it. What I am interested in more... Is the... Top suite that's on major lockdown, but... Was there something else? No. Uh, the room's a bit messy, so you may want to look into that. But, uh, yeah. You guys have a good time. Okay, so we're going to go back and talk to Damsel. I'll have to remember to come back and check this out at some point. Or maybe, we, maybe we'll end up back there. There's also the bar here. The dance bar right in here. Confessions. That I can also check out. And maybe even touch base with... What's this guy's name? Fat Tony? I think it's... Is it Fat Tony? No, that seems too normal. I can't remember. Say now, Wonder Girl. Seeing the kind of commando gear you've been stocking up on. You ain't just using that stuff for keeping the neighbors away from your shit, is you? Doesn't really matter. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, that's your business. Okay. <laughs> I just figured somebody with a shopping list like yours might be up for a little action, Zar. All right? I'm up for a little action. What do you got in mind? Yo, I need a hardcore pimp killing Cleopatra Jones for a super-sized skull. Straight up Foxy Pam Greer style. Still with me? What's in it for me exactly? Yo, here's what's going down. I got a tip that the Chinatown Tone and some local boys are meet down at the nearby parking garage to carry out a business deal. Now, I can't tell you what they is exchanging, but let's just say a certain client of mine is ready to drop some Uncle Sam-sized bucks to acquire what's in briefcase number one. You get it for me. I'ma not only give you a cut, but I roll out my special stock okay. as well. I can do now, that. How that sound? Sounds good. I'm in. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Now, if you're the straight-out hard-boiled Terminator type, I'd suggest you buy some heavy firepower before you roll up to the parking garage. You need it. Maybe you should like lend it to me since I'm doing it for you. Yo, yo, yo. Um, Walla ears, lazy eye hammocks and dwarf saddles right here. Crossbow bolts. Yo, yo, I got bats. dinosaur eggs. We don't know what. Kind of like this fire axe. Well, I'm in Hatcham. Oh man, got a Galapagos turtle this week only. I don't know about well, this. Shin Gunto seems to be doing oh, man, pretty got well. Got a Galapagos turtle this week only. I don't know if it makes that big of a difference for the one point in lethality and two points in damage. We'll just stick with what we have. So I'll have to come back to him at some point then. Or do I just go to the... Yeah, Fat Larry, businessman extraordinaire, wants you to acquire a briefcase being exchanged between the Tong and local gang. It'll take place in a nearby parking garage. Get the briefcase undetected if possible. 
That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so here's a little bit of a shortcut, I think. Be on the lookout for somebody I can drink from. Could be that guy. Could, could have been that guy. There's too many people around. Thug? Nah. We'll leave it for now. Let's see what Damsel has to say. Ugh, candy. Come on now. Let's show her the flyer. Yeah, I've seen this. Pretty sure I've seen it around here somewhere. One of the buildings, I think. It's on one of the buildings? Okay, I'll look for it. Damsel told you about the symbol and flyer we found in Kill Play Bear is also on one of the buildings. Is this the... Isn't that that the same as where we found the uh, the weird dude? I bet you it is. I bet you it's the same building, like burning the mystical sun or whatever. Let's check things out because. It looks like that could probably be it. Oh, maybe not. I thought that maybe that might be more in the shape of this, but not really. No. And is it going to be like obvious? I don't imagine it's going to be like on the front door. I'd be like, oh, in here for weird pestilence related things. Here's the parking garage. I'm assuming that's the one. Okay, that's another way around there, I suppose. Let's just review it again. This is the skull with the weird sun around it. Could it be in confession maybe? Not seeing the symbol. Whoa, whoa, that is that is not. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you, okay. Well, that is awkward. Now you must die. That's why you shouldn't get BJ's in dark places like that. Sorry, bro. It's like sloppy seconds. But like, ugh. never mind. <laughs> hey, I am not seeing not seeing this anywhere. I've probably missed it. Hmm. Weird. Is 
also in one of the buildings. I'm probably just looking too hard. Like, why would you not tell me which building it is? If you know, like, don't hide that from me. That makes little to no sense on her part. She's probably involved and now she's worried that I'm onto her. No, I, I don't think that's the case, actually. That's the one thing I don't think is happening. Everything else is fair game. For people that have seen this before, they're probably just, like, screaming right now. Okay, this is behind Fat Larry, right? Yeah. I don't- and I don't know if it would be plastered, like, right on the front? Like, I don't think so. That's initially what I was thinking, but... I am not... Oh, shit. Okay, hold on a second. Found it. But how do I get in there? Like, I don't think I can get up and over this. What's up, sister? You uh... Ah. <laughs> uh, whoops. Yep. I see. Welcome to the brother. Sick. The bishop will see you upstairs. Okay, found it. That's crazy. We'll uh, we'll get into that next time. Okay, bye.